Tell me that's okay? No, I don't care. No, no, no. What does tranquility mean, sir? You know okay, what it means. Right? Okay, so if I walk outside with my penis out in public, is that allowing people to enjoy it in safety and tranquility, sir? Now notice, sir, I'm giving you this off the top of my mind. I didn't go, I didn't go. What if, what if you're a nudist and sir, you don't care if people can make it? Be, that's when you disturb the public peace, sir. You wow, disturb wow. the, you disturb. What, what if my neighbor doesn't mind? Is not people? part of our, then y'all go in the house together and you can get naked all you want to. But you don't do that junk in the public. That's not tranquility, sir. That's not tranquility. But I told you I was going to show you. I didn't. I, I, hold on, sir. I didn't have to look this up. No, according to the American common law. Is, okay, where is it in our customs, sir? Where is it in our customs that it says that people go around walking naked, sir? I'll pay you $100 if you show it to me. Where does it say you can't? What? Where does it say you can't? Read it again, sir, please. Read it again. Because the, the fundamental principles... You're, you're saying that this... You're going to interpret this as saying you can't walk around naked. Is that allowing people to enjoy their rights, sir, in the private? Do the do the people have I a don't right? Care. Do the, do I the don't people care of my, I don't do the, care do of the my people walk around naked. do the people? So if somebody walks down the street naked, sir, you're telling me with kids out there's kids that is out there. You telling me that's okay? No, I don't care. No, 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 no. Are you telling me based on American fundamental law? That it is okay American, to walk around what, naked in front of kids. American funda- what American fundamental law talks about running around naked? The maxims, the 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 fundamental law, sir, the principles. Yeah, the, the about, maxims, about Thomas. Tom, the maxims that Thomas Jefferson says the chief has said that the government has a duty to make sure that the people follow the law of God, that they keep the law of God. It says it in there. The law of God says don't show your body to somebody who's not yours, sir. That's a fundamental principle. That, and that it says that Christianity is part of the common law. What? It, say, it says that in the maxims, in the actual maxims that America was founded upon, that the government swear to, it says it in there, sir. Written by, um, I can take you to the book, Charles A. Weissman, um, 1600 maxims he has. Naked? Now, what does it say exactly? It tells you that the government is here to make sure that the law of God is followed. It says Christianity is part the of, of the common law. The law of God is written in the Bible, sir. What if I don't follow the Bible? Then if you don't follow the Bible, that's fine. But if you walk your anus outside with your penis hanging out, you're going to mess around and find out. So that's, that's called that's, that's called decency that's and order, sir. Let me let me ask you: is it is is is, is 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 it okay is it okay for 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 people to rape kids, sir? It's completely different. Obviously, is it okay though? Is it okay? So it's okay for your neighbor to show. It's okay for a neighbor to show a little kid their penis, but it's not okay for them to rape little kids. Is that what you're saying? Because you just said I wouldn't have a problem if you want to walk around naked. So you're saying all nudists. Or if you go to like a... They got nudist caps, sir. They got colonies for that with a whole bunch of grown people who consent. Kids can't consent, sir. Kids can't consent. No one can see me. What if I walk one foot? Sir, in the public, in the public, public, sir, there's people who... Sir, there's people who walk out their door. Where does it say as soon as you open your door, you're in the public? Where does it say that? Sir, the, the private realm and the public realm, the places open to people I just showed you, is the public. Mm-hmm. The so places where does it say op- that? Okay, let me get it for you again, where sir. You I'm, I'm going to get it for you again. It's okay. Just give me a second. I'll get it for you again because... Okay, here we go. A commonwealth. That's what a republic is. Oops. That has, uh-huh. I'm talking about where, where does it say that... This is a line that this is private. Let, let me show you. Let me show you. It says a commonwealth. Hold on. Where is that? Hold on. Let me get this off. Hold on. I'm sorry. Okay. A commonwealth, that form of government in which the administration of affairs is open to all the citizens. So when it comes to the administrative, I mean, I'm sorry, the administration of affairs, it's dealing with the public. 
the definition, I'm sorry, the etymology, hold on one second, the etymology of the word republic is res publica, which literally means public affairs, the things where the and people think, are involved. And, and you think anyone that just read what you just showed me would, would come to the same conclusion as you? Sir, the, in, in every state, you have public welfare, public transit, public schools, the public no, schools are open to what? Do you think that everyone that read what you just read would come to the same conclusion as you? That, that's that's part of it, sir. But I got a lot more knowledge than just that. Yeah, but I, I'm showing think, I'm showing you definitions. You think, I got hold on. I'm showing you, you definitions think, that I got written in the program think, right here. Do you think everyone that reads that whatever you just wrote will come to the same conclusion as you? Let me ask you this. Do you think that people would not understand when I said public? Well, why would you not? Why aren't public? you answering my question? Do you think that everyone that reads that will come to the same conclusion as you? No, that's why I always give further information and I explain in detail that you didn't want me to. I don't, I don't admit information. So everything you're saying is not obvious to the people. Maybe, or maybe, maybe, like, maybe, or maybe not. not but that, but, but I just told you that we have a I duty. Mean, like, how many we, people? How many people go by what you're saying? So let me ask you this: not that how, many, right? Compared to no, not true, not true, not true. Because not true. Because how many people you see walking around naked every day, sir? No, I'm. That's not what I asked. I'm talking about. This. Sir, you said how many people Remember come to the conclusion? Said. How come people know not to go outside naked, sir? How come we don't find a lot of that? Because people got common sense, right? Common law, common sense, right? You can try to ignore common sense, sir, and act like it don't exist. But people, I know not to punch you in your face, even if I'm mad, because of common sense, sir. So, so all we, we need is common sense. You're saying that everyone has common sense? Uh, everyone has common sense, so... Sir, sir, even, even most killers who are not crazy know not to kill you out in the open, sir. They, they know to try to hide what they're doing. Why do, why do people who kill wear a mask, sir? Because they know they're doing wrong. Why do they put gloves on a lot of times when they shoot people? Why do some people pick up shells, sir? Why, do, why, why when people see the cops coming and they got a weapon on them, sometimes they just run? Because they know they're doing wrong, sir. Let's not act like we don't have a knowledge of right and wrong. The people of America have a knowledge of what's right or wrong. Some choose to do wrong, but we have a knowledge when we do certain things. Like, I'll give you an example, sir. Would, would you go spit in a killer's face? No. No, because you got common sense. You know he might blow your brains right. out. For, so let's, for say, let's, say, let's say it's the 1700s and slavery still exists. Does everyone have common sense? Yeah, everybody has common sense. They choose to do wrong. You you telling me when the master rapes a you telling me when a master goes out and rapes the, the, the woman in the shed that he don't know he's doing wrong? Are you let's just take the, the statues that allow slavery. If you take the statues that uh, allow slavery, way back in the Hardaway case time, did they not say about Christians and, and the legislature could not have made a law to make uh slavery of Christians? Uh, something that was right when the Bible said it was was wrong. When they took Indians who were converted and made them slaves, you telling me the the court didn't try to say they realized that they made a mistake as and the legislature could not have, have wanted them to do they that. Have common sense, but they're just doing wrong things. Y yeah, there's a lot of people like that, sir. There's a lot of people who know they're yeah. sir. Wait, wait. Right. You can take a kid, sir, and you can you can have a cookie sitting out. And you'll see a lot of times a kid will walk up, take the cookie and hide it and run. Why would a kid take a cookie and hide it and run? Why would they do that? Do they not know they're doing wrong if they hide it? See, there's some kids who are, who are still in their innocence, who are so young that they, they just do stuff. They'll come see your food in your hand and be like this. They'll grab it and be like, yeah, and just start eating it. But at a certain age, you'll see kids. Since everyone, since everyone has common sense, why do we need any laws? The law is made for transgressors, sir. That's a biblical concept and that's a law concept. The, the law tells okay. you what is wrong. So when you do wrong, we have the right to charge you with what you did wrong. That's, that's what the law is written for. So when a government official is not doing what's right and they're committing maladministration, we can say, isn't it written that you're not supposed to do this? 
That's what it's for. The, the law is made for transgressors, transgressors, sir, not those who walk in the spirit of, of doing what's right. And this is why you have in the law what's called intent. Because if you if you were driving your car down the street and, and, and somebody jumped out in front of you, you ran somebody over, but somebody jumped out in front of you, that's totally different than you being a gangster and mowing somebody down with your car. Totally different, sir. So we, we make we make statutes to deal with certain things to protect the people's business, as I just had you read. Actually, can you continue to read in Massachusetts Constitution? Just so you can see that I'm not lying about what I'm saying and the people can see. So it says, in tranquility, what does it say? Their natural rights and the blessings of life. Whenever these great objects are not obtained, people have a right to alter the government and to take measures necessary for their safety, prosperity, and happiness. Okay, so if the government doesn't protect the people's tranquility, happiness, and rights, the people have the right to take the whole government, including the courts, and just completely do it over at will? Well, you, you have the right to bring these. Whenever the government does something wrong, we have the right to bring it up. No, not just, sir. Okay, sir. You're not being, you're not being real right now. That ain't what the freak that just said, sir. It didn't say you got a right to bring it up. See, this is where I get a problem, sir. When, when, a, when attorneys, sir, when attorneys start, when attorneys start omitting information and dropping our rights, sir, I get a problem. I get a problem. How, how would you alter the government? Read it, sir. What does it say? What does it say? Take measures necessary. So how would you, what, what, what does it say, sir? What does it say? Take, Take measures necessary, necessary to do what? For their safety, prosperity, and happiness. Okay, so when it says alter the government to make sure they're happy, sir, they can so change. They can change the whole government. That doesn't mean speak up about it. That's not what it said. But you just said speak up. What, what does it mean? It means create a new government, rewrite the constitution, remove all the where, actors. Where, where, how, how do I know that that's what it means? Easy, because it's in the fundamental law. And I can show you in other states where it tells you you can remove the whole government or change the constitution. It's the the constitutions of the state. You, how would you remove Let me tell the you the constitution because the people are their creators and we we created so how, them. How how would you remove the government by literally writing a new constitution and firing everybody? Literally, actually, you want me to show you that in the constitutions too? Go to Texas so, Constitution. Go to Texas you, Constitution Bill of Rights. So you can read it out for everybody, sir. I don't make this stuff up. I can, I can, I can agree with. No, you don't have to. You don't have to agree, sir. Because all I want to do is deal with what's written. I want you to stand on what the freak is written. That's it. Because you think that what I'm saying is untrue. I'm I'm saying that this is very. It's a very general description. Of course, because the people have all power. It don't have to be specific. Mean a lot of different things. No, sir. We don't. We don't. The the maxims of the law say that the people are trusted with taking control of government. So the law is written about them in a broad way because they're trusted. That's what it says. So that's on purpose, sir. We can take whatever measures we want to fix a bad government. That's what the law says. And the government agreed to it. And you're saying. And you're saying I didn't say anything. You just read it. You read it. You read I it to us. I didn't finish my sentence. You're say, so I'm I'm trying to understand. No, you said you started off with I'm saying when you just got done reading. Can you at least confirm that what you just read is there? Does it not say it? It says people have a right to alter the government. Alter. To take measures necessary for their safety, prosperity, and happiness. Uh huh. Is it a limitation on it? Like we limit the government, sir? Did it did it have qualifiers like you're limited to not changing the constitution or something? No. No, but it said we got the right. It's an inherent right, right? Yeah. Okay. So if we got the inherent right, sir, and it's there in general, it ain't nothing about what I said, which I told you beginning beginning of the call. I said we're gonna have some issues because. I believe in what's written and I know what's there. And I ask you, have you read the state constitution? You said no. And you think everyone will come to the same conclusion on how to alter the government? I don't give a freak what everybody does. It only took 3% to get rid of but a whole king with a whole army, sir. People, this is, how will the people by alter being, the government? The people will alter the government by learning the fact that they have the power to do it like you just learned. Because you said they have the right to bring and it up. That's not what the exactly, law said. How exactly would I do that? How exactly would you do what? Alter the government. 
by writing a new constitution, like I told you earlier, removing everybody if you choose to. Where is writing a new constitution? You want to go to Texas Constitution real quick and I'll show you? Because these are all inherent rights, meaning they belong to everybody. The whole nation owns the these rights. The Texas yes, sir. Constitution Bill of Rights. Let's go right. to it, sir. We'll go to Texas, then we'll go to we'll go to uh, Missouri after that, and and I'll prove to you exactly what I'm saying. I'm not guessing, sir. I can do this all night. So let's go to let's go to Texas. I'm not disputing what you don't. You're it's not about you disputing, sir. I just stand on what's written. I'm not giving my opinion, and I don't care if you give your opinion. I'm not mad at you at that. I don't care if you dispute or not. Nobody but can my, dispute. What my, my point is, if you go to court, they're going to use their own rule. You think you been. think that's what they're going to do? But how long is that going to last? The king thought he was going to use his own rules too, didn't he? How how did that how did that end up? See, sir, it's all fun and games as long as you control the court and all your actors play together and you cheat people of their rights. As soon as we freaking know, you're going to find out really quickly that you're not going to run game on anybody anymore. So I'm not betting on the attorneys and the judges who hide the truth. I'm teaching so many people that they're going to have to deal with the truth, period. And ain't nobody running, sir. Ain't nobody running. The, Nobody's getting away from the truth, sir. It's, it's in plain English, and the people are growing quickly. People are going to change their ways, period. You know, it's, it's, when you talk about how the government's corrupt, then and it's... It, some very of it. appealing. Some of it. Some of it is corrupt. Only some. It's very appealing. But when you start to go into gray areas, it ain't no sir. I don't go into gray. I tell what's written. So if, if the gray. hold on, sir. Did every state government officer swear to the state constitution? Yes or no? They swore to it already, right? So it ain't no gray area. You think you think, you think some people? I don't give a freak about things, don't. sir. Did they swear to it? Yes or some, no? Some people. Some people don't like weed, right? Sir, I'm asking about the state constitution. Did the government swear to it or no? Okay, listen. No, if sir. You keep outside, you keep going go to outside, a million outside, other things, listen, sir. I'm giving listen, you special law. If I go law. outside, if I I'm go outside and smoke, listen, listen. If I go outside and smoke a joint, there's probably going to be some people that care. And some people that don't care. Yes? Sir. Yeah? Yes? Yes, there agree? is. But what the freak does that have to do with what's written? It means that life is not black and white. But people what's written is, is sir, what's read, written in front of you, read. what's written in front of you and what the government already swore to is black and white, sir. Let's not play a game. I'm, 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 talk, I'm, I'm showing I'm you. I'm talking about specific situations. Sure. I'm showing you. What's written that the people have the duty and the power to do? The Why are we, so, uh, sir? We were we we were talking about, sir. We we were talking. No, no, hold on, sir. We were talking about the duty and power of the, sir. That's not gonna happen, sir. We were talking about the duty and power of the people, and I took you to the law and showed you. What I will never do, sir, is play a game where you will come on a show where we're talking in front of the people. And you will hide what's in plain English and try to act like it's not black and white. What is written is written, sir. And we can't make up stuff and act like, oh, well, what people care about matters. No, sir. What is written is written. And what the government swore to is what the government swore to. Now, I told you that I will prove to you what the people have the power to do because you said nobody can understand it as an inherent right. So I'm showing you what it says, as I promised I would do, and now you want to act like it's not black or white? People want something, then it, that's all you need, 3% of the people? Sir, what did the law say? Can you just tell me what the law said? What did what, did, what, did what law say? You, you're the one who said the, the Texas law. The Texas law right in front of you, what does it say? I, I didn't look it up. You said 3% of the people removed the king or something. Is yeah, they did. They, they, they did. Did that happen, sir? Yes did or no? Wait, wait. Need, wait. Did that happen? Sir, did that happen? Yes or no? I have no idea. This is what I'm just going about what you said. Sir, how do we get America? Sir, how do we get America? If you tell me you don't know, don't we got to... 
This is something you told me. You don't know how. So you don't know how we got America, sir. You don't know how we got America. I'm just going by what you told me. You said do do you not know? Do you not know how we got America? This is what you said, sir. What what I'm not going to do, sir. What I what I'm not going to do is play intellectual games with grown people. So either you can you can tell me if you know how America came about. You're acting like you're the authority on everything. No, I act and like what's know, written. I act like what's written is there is no, what's written. Everything is your interpretation. Uh, so you, sir, 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 that sounds like a clown. That sounds like, like a clown show, sir. It sounds like a clown show because if you wanted what's to arrest clown? people as an attorney, y'all arrest people all day and night for stuff that y'all interpret that's not written. So let's not play this game. It's all about interpretation. We're dealing with what is written in real life. I'm showing you. Hello. You're the scholar, sir. And I'm right, so, to, and I'm the regular man look, showing you what's written, and you're not showing anything that's written. And then you want to tell me is black or white? Of course, you don't need to show me. Jesus already said it, Luke eleven fifty two. Woe unto you lawyers, for you hide the key of knowledge. The key of knowledge is that which is written, and you ain't showing it. You want to act so like what about it's it's it's, it's fuzzy lines. lines. What if, it's, what if I don't, it's fuzzy what about lines. people who are Buddhist? Hey, what if they then don't, don't the Bible? if you're Buddhist, don't swear your anus to that constitution because we're going to hold you to it. That simple. You can be whatever religion you want to be. But when your anus swear to the constitution and it says the people can remove you at will, it ain't no running, sir. So it's in black and white. Why the Bible when you already have the constitution? I just told you what you're Jesus said because because Jesus because Jesus is because Jesus is. Because Jesus is wise, I just told you what Jesus says, and the Bible is part of the common law. So, so the one who cre- so the one who created the one who you brought up Buddhist, sir. You brought that up. So, Buddhists don't read the, if they don't read the Bible. The Buddhists no are in a them. nation that the law came from the Bible, and if you swear to keep the constitution of the nation, your anus is bound. I don't give a freak what religion you are. That's why I don't care. Your religion don't matter. When you when you swear when you swear to do something by the people, you better do it. If you swear to do something, look when Buddhists go get get down and worship Buddha, ain't nobody bothering them. Ain't nobody bothering them. Ain't nobody. No, they have a right even in the public to worship their God. But what you don't have a right to do is swear to the Constitution that you're gonna do something and not do it. That's when you got a problem. When you swear you're going to protect the people's rights, or you're going to follow the law of the Constitution, you don't do it, your ain't is in trouble. You might not like it, but that's the real life. That's real life. Military people know that. If your ain't is swear that you're going to go fight somebody in another town and you're going to go AWOL and go, and go join the enemy, they're going to blow your brains out. And you already swore oath that they could do it. So it is what it is. So I, I don't What's play the that. What's the definition of AWOL? AWOL, like leaving your post, leaving your mission. Going the opposite where, where way you should be going. A, in, where does it define a wall in the Constitution? You don't have to be in the Constitution because they swear it in their oath, in their own manuals, in their own law of the military, sir. Yeah, so they it's have written. a manual. It's not, it's not in the Constitution. It's, 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 it's written. It's, it's, it's written. Actually, no. Written in the Constitution, else. sir, it tells you you can't commit treason. It's treason is to go against the people, sir, or aid your enemy. It's How do you define there. AWOL? How do you, is it if I leave my post it, it, for five sir, minutes? Sir, it's, it's a derivative. It's a, it's a derivative. It's a derivative of you swear an oath to the Constitution to fight enemies foreign and domestic. When you swear to fight, when your punk ain't to stop fighting, you could get killed. It's that simple, sir. I don't, sir, I'm not going to keep playing these roundabout games with you trying to figure out if, 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 if. You're not, not dealing playing. with what's written. You, You're you're not dealing with what's written. Think everything is so simple. It's it is. Simple. It is simple. It's, it's attorneys who hide the law that simple. make it sophisticated. See, you didn't read the laws that are right here in the state constitutions, and I'm showing it to you for the first time. You didn't even know this stuff was in here. You thought it was all sophisticated. I can only follow Supreme Court cases. And then I show you what's in the state constitutions. You've never seen it before. I show you what's in fundamental principles. You have no idea. The, the, Supreme, the, the Supreme Court will interpret constitutional law. So the Supreme so Court I'm will interpret be, whatever you put in front of it, including administrative so why, law. Why, why, why would I go by your interpretation and not... I didn't say, sir, I showed you what was written, sir. You, what people swear you're to. You're explaining to me, right? You're explaining to me your interpretation. No, your interpretation. I'm showing you. I'm showing you what's written, and then you say, "Well, how yeah, do you do that? That that's kind of broad. That's kind of broad. How do you do that? You admit it's freaking there, and then you go ask me, "Well, how do you do it? Because you can't now. You can't write away the fact that you just read it. 
So now you want to ask me, well, how specifically and do you do it? Give me an itemized list. Conclusion to what's written. Uh, sir, you literally tried to ask me to make an itemized no, list of what the inherent you, rights are of how to freaking remove government. When the when the constitutions that, tell you people, however the freak we want to. Come to different conclusions and how that's done. But it's written how in different, gonna, sir, but it's, 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 it's written in the, it's, it's written across the country in the fundamental law that tells you how, sir. I was taking you there. You just don't okay, like to read it. Who's going to write the constitution? The it's people. written already, sir. It's right there. What do you mean? No, it's right you there. Wanna, you said to alter the government, you want to write a new constitution. Who did it before? The people. Who going to do it the next time? Right? The people. The people so are going to do it. Which people? Which people? Which people? The people who are part of the state, sir. So, so all the people, like you know, millions of people, are going to get together. And did it take all? Did it take all the people before, or did it just take the ones that showed up? Sir, this so has happened in history already. See, here's the problem you're gonna have, sir. <laughs> I'm dealing with stuff that already happened, and you keep talking about oh. hypotheticals. It was a few people that wrote the constitution. Sir, do we have a constitution in Arizona right now? You're in Arizona just like me. Do we have a constitution? Was it, a lot of people? How it was people it was wrote? it was a few. It was a few. Okay, yeah, it was a yeah. few people. The people you're granted authority to a few people. And we have a constitution and in Arizona. You saying that, you saying that can't happen everyone again? Will, will read the, everyone will read the constitution and come to the exact Tell me what I said about everyone will read. You didn't even read the constitution. So how the freak I'm going to say everybody, sir? Why do you keep making these scenarios, putting words in my mouth that I never said? Where did I say everybody would read it? I know attorneys don't read it. I, you came on the show. I knew before you even came that you didn't read it. So why would I just assume that everybody's going to read the Constitution? Why do you think I spend my time teaching people the Constitutions? Because people didn't read it. Why do, you have, why, do, why do you have to teach people? Because the attorneys and schools purposely hid it, sir. Okay, so why, why can't you just give them the Constitution? Why do you have to spend all sir, the time? Sir, 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 why, 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 sir, sir, to ask me why I have to do something that other people are, aren't doing is kind of silly. It's kind of like saying, sir, why do you put your left pant leg on uh, rather than your right one first? That's dumb, so sir. So if you, if you didn't have to teach and you just gave everyone the Constitution, you think they would all come to the same conclusion? Sir, if I gave... So, hold on, hold on, wait, wait. Who taught me the state Constitution, sir? How would I know that? Yeah. Nobody taught me the state Constitution, sir. I got to see it and read it. And then I got to make documents because I could easily read. And I gave them to judges and I saw cases get won. I saw cases get killed. I saw so kids get returned. So you're saying you taught judges how to interpret the Constitution? I, no. I didn't. Can you show me where I said that, sir? Isn't you that got a bad you habit. Said? You got a bad habit of just making up stories. Where, where so did I say that? Say? Where did I say that? What did you just say? You I said I studied and made notices and gave them to judges and cases got notices. killed. Made notices. So you, made notice, you made notices. Yeah, I, I, I did address to the government. I did remonstrance against the government, like the Bible. I mean, the law tells me to. When you make a notice, you're telling them your interpretation of the Constitution. No, I'm telling them what the freak is written is what I'm doing. It literally says what's written in the notice. So you, That's what it does. And you're, you get to decide. I get to decide how. what I write from what's written already. Yes. And that's what I do. And the judges say, holy crap, i never seen this before. Wow, somebody's using the real law. And if someone disagrees, then you're right. Who is right. someone, sir? Who is someone? Who is someone? Help me understand. Anyone. Anyone. Sir, Anyone. I take what's written and give it to the judges. What the freak does that have to do with anyone? And what if the judge, why does the judge disagree? Sir, I've had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of situations where people have gotten victory, sir. By me showing them or me doing a notice to the freaking government. So, so case is killed. You're telling, so it's different. When you're saying you're, you're telling the government that they're doing something wrong, that's one thing. But to say that you're going in the private and you're exempt. Oh, sir, you're messing up again. You're messing up again. Different. Okay, let me ask you. Do I have a 100% guaranteed right to teach the government, address them, any part of government, Instruct them. Is that not in the law, sir? Is that not written in the oh. fundamental law, the highest law, the constitutions? Is it not written there, sir? Written it looked like you're looking. You look like you're trying to read it real quick. 
Is it not written in the is it not written in there, sir, that I have a right to instruct the government to remonstrate, to um, give them notice, uh, address? Is that is that not what the law says, sir? Do I have a right to instruct my servant, sir? A guaranteed right inherent, even as a black dude? Do I have a right to do that? Not just do it. See, you just asked me a question. If do I have the right to tell them? Yes, I do. But do you do you know when the law where it says that? What does that have to do? You with... just said what I don't have the power to do because it's something different, sir. You just yes. opened your mouth to try to limit what my right is when you don't know. So what it has what, to do with what, is what the what freak you just said. What was I trying to limit? You just told me is different to to uh, bring my notice to a judge and try to tell the government what the law is uh, is, is different from something else, right? What I do is in the freaking law. It's on the page I just sent you to. If you would just open it up, that that's how silly this is. It's so silly. What does that have to do, what does that have to do with living in the private, sir? <laughs> the people who are in the private have a right to tell the government what the law is. They have a right to correct the freaking government and put them on notice. That's why, because you just tried to say I don't have that right. So only only people in the private have that right. The people are always in the private, sir. The people are always in the private. Yeah, the people have a status that's in the private until they decide to inter intervene with the public. So. By default, the pe the public is the government, sir, and those things open to the people in the public. The people in their own living are not part of the public realm, sir. They're not part of government cloaked so with office all, or anything. So, our constitutional rights, your public rights, or your private rights? They're private rights, sir. They're private rights. Yeah, they're private. Isn't rights. the constitutional law? Aren't you? I thought you said that you so about like, to mess up, sir. You're about to mess up. Let me let me let me let me tell you. Let me tell you real quick. So you don't go down the road of looking like you're about to look, sir. The Constitution has three parts. It has the preamble. It has the declared rights or the um, declared rights or the Bill of Rights, like a Bill of Particulars. Declaration of Rights or Bill of Rights. And then it has what's called the frame of government. The frame of government is where you grant power to the government officials, where you give them limitations, where you tell what they can do. The other part is one of the other parts is the bill or declaration of rights, sir, which is where the people reserve the rights to themselves that the government have no power over. And if you just look in Texas, I'll prove all these things to you. I'm saying as a matter of fact, the legislature and the government is accepted from the things in the Bill of Rights. They are so powerful that the government has no authority over them. And to prove it to you, please just scroll up real quick to number 27, I'm sorry, 29, and just read it for everybody and tell me what you see. 29 in the Texas Bill of Rights. You don't want to read it? You, you, can read it. you, can you don't want to read it? It'd be nice if you read it. It'd be nice if you participate no. in what's written. You can read it. And everybody know I'm not lying if you read it. You sure you don't want to participate? It'd be, it'd be healthy for the people. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. 29. Here it is right here. To guard against transgressions of the high powers herein delegated. We delegate the powers to the government. We declare that everything in this Bill of Rights is accepted. That means they don't get it. Out of the general powers of government. That's including the court, sir. And shall forever remain inviolate. They can never touch it. And all laws contrary thereto or the following provisions shall be void. They can't even make a freaking law to go against the rights of the Bill of Rights, sir. They're guaranteed 100% if you know. Now, 27, you said ab ab about me telling the government what to do and, and what I'm allowed to do and not. Here it goes right here. Section 27 in the same Constitution. The citizens shall have the right, and here and right again, in a peaceable manner to assemble together for their common good. I quoted to you this to you earlier. And apply to those invested with the powers of government for redress of grievances or, or other purposes 
by petition, address, or remonstrance. Remonstrance actually means a strong rebuke. I tell you what the freak to do as my servant. And you never get to touch my private rights, the Bill of Rights. There's never a part of the Constitution that says you can, except when there's habeas corpus in a time of war when we gave permission in one of the Constitutions. That's it. Never at any other time can you trample my rights. And when your anus swears to this to get elected, I guarantee you, if the people know, it's game the freak over. It's cute as long as they don't know and you're controlling the government. If you're an attorney and you're controlling the government and nobody knows what their rights are, it's super cute. But the time that somebody finds out what the law really says, I guarantee you that garbage ain't going to last long. Arizona's finding that out right now. The, the government officials across Arizona are seeing that the people are ready to remove them. They know we can do initiatives and change the law and get them put in prison for life. We are not playing, sir. The, the Republican Party are, are kicking out the PCs, are kicking out all of their, uh, I'm sorry, are, are um, what's the, censoring all of the politicians, even the Republican Party, for not following the law. The people are not playing and they understand that they can change the Constitution Get control of the courts back where the Bar Association can't control it and stop us from getting the grand juries and prosecute everybody. We can do that. So I'm telling you just what's written. Oh, wait, I didn't give you the special part. I'm sorry. I messed up. Please forgive me. Let's go to the beginning of Texas Constitution, what I promised, because I read to you other stuff and I didn't read what I said I was going to read. Here's what it says the people have the power to do in Texas. And they limit themselves by being a Republican form of government. Text of Section 2. Inherent, coming from God, political power, Republican form of government. All political power is inherent in the people. And all free governments are founded on their authority, the people's. And instituted for their benefit, not the government's to make money on side deals and all this bull crap. The faith of the people of Texas stands pledged to the preservation of a Republican form of government and subject to this limitation only. So you said, well, I didn't tell exactly how. The only limitation is Republican form of government. Look what it says you could do. They have at all times the inalienable right to alter, reform, or abolish their government in such manner as they think it be expedient. Meaning, however the freak they feel like it. And the government servants swore to that when they got the job, did they not? Every, every government official got to swear to the state constitution, right? So did they not swear that the people have an inherent right to totally remove them off the government plane and put them back in a private place at will whenever they think expedient? However, did it not just say that? Or did I make that up? So everything you say sounds good. But. Sounds good. But, but, it, sounds but good. It, it ain't everything I say, though, because I didn't write it. Did, can you just agree that you saw what you just saw? The thing that you refuse to acknowledge is. Wait, wait. Can you acknowledge first what you just saw? <laughs> Can you acknowledge that the people have the inherent power to remove government however they think expedient and the dumb government officials sw signed an oath to follow that? Did you not see that? Because to get a job in the state, you got to swear. I'm all, about, I'm all about removing a corrupt government. Okay, so, so you agree that is there, right? You agree yeah, that is there. You agree it's there. But... That, Wait, uh, do you agree that, it's there? Because I can't, I can't hear you say you agree. Did well, you agree that it's there? You just, you just read it. I'm assuming that it's there. I, I didn't read it. I'm going. Oh, I, I, come I, on, man. I, See, this This is messed up that you didn't look at it, and I tried to show it to you so we could come to the same page. All, all constitutions are very similar, right? All, all the Bill of Rights, they're all very similar. They talk about, you know, similar rights. So I don't, I don't need to read every single constitution There's well they don't they don't say the they don't say the same things they might have similarities but the the issue is they tell different inherent rights but inherent rights belong to every man because it comes from god so in every state we all have the same power 
So we have inherent rights from God, and governments are instituted to secure those rights. I get mm -hmm. that. And it's written in the Constitution. Mm -hmm. But it's not... <coughs> The, the governments, they write laws to, those rights are just too broad. Like, to just say we have free speech, that could mean, you know, you could just yell, you know, and, and bother someone. So then we have to create <coughs> other laws to restrict these rights. No, sir. It just told you in the state constitution you can't write a law to restrict the rights. You just saw that in Texas if you looked at it. It this said is, is one, any law made one, contrary. One. Sir, wait, wait. It just said the government. Hold on, sir. It just said the government had th they okay, have I, no I power over these that, rights. But, we, but but the governments do create laws. No, they right? don't. Not over the. They don't create laws over nobody's yeah. rights, sir. They can act like they did, but those are null and void. You just read it. Marbury versus Madison tells you the no, same thing. I'm talking about. I'm talking about. You know, you can't like. You can't yell in the middle of the night or something because that would be a noise violation. Right. That's, that's public, that's, sir. That's, that's, that's public. That's going out to the public and messing up the tranquility, as we just read. That's totally different. Oh. That you don't have a right to interfere with somebody else's right or tranquility or peace, sir. Okay. The, the, so the, they're not taking away your rights. You don't have a right to to hurt somebody, harm somebody, mess up their tranquility. You don't have the right to do that. Now, in the private, you ain't in the, in the middle of everybody, so it don't matter. So, if you're not... In the, in the private, then you can do all those In things? the private, you can yell because nobody hears it. But what, if it but what if you're in the private with some, someone that you know? And can you yell? And the talk? people in the private can make consent to go together and yell and go, ah! All they want to. Okay, so, but then if it bothers someone, then you're in the public? If you are going into the public realm or doing things that interfere no, no, with the public realm. I'm in my, I'm in my house. Oh, no, no. Today. Yeah, if you go in the public and I go up to somebody's ear and go, ah, as loud as I can in their ear, yeah, I can get in trouble for that. No, no, no. We're in the private and someone's next to me and I start yelling at them. Then we're in the public? N no, sir. If you are in the, let's say if you're in the private, you're in the midst of your private assembly, right? You're in church and there's a private assembly. And you turn and you go, bam, and punch the person next to you. Even though you're in the private assembly, when you hurt somebody, when you harm someone, you get jurisdiction just like it's your house. The person who you harm gets jurisdiction to you over you and can turn you over to the officer. And they can turn you over to the court. Okay. That's how the private works. So you don't get to just pick with the private if it's not bothering anybody. Okay, what about something like selling alcohol without a license. You're not selling alcohol, sir. Sir, you go to church on a Sunday, right? Wait, wait, hold on. Yeah, the Catholic church is the Catholic church is a private group of people assembling together for their common good. And they drink wine every freaking Sunday. And they even give it to kids every Sunday. How many of them get arrested okay. for that, sir? They're not selling it. I know they're not selling it. That's not commerce. So in, in the private, can I sell alcohol without a license? Why would you sell anything in the private, sir? It's a group of people coming together for a common good. You can have a membership and people can drink on the house. Who cares? So it happens in motorcycle in, clubs. In, in the, it happens in, in the, the private, Mason Lodge. In the it happened in the Lions Lodge all the time. In the private, you can't sell anything. That's not even necessarily true. It depends on if Why you know the law. It, it depends on if you know the law well enough to be able to. So, in what situation can I sell alcohol in the that's, that's not something I tell people because that's part of my knowledge that I actually use for private associations. And that's, that, and that's the drinking clubs. Yeah, there are drinking clubs. There's a lot of yeah. those. So, so, they are 